And the Pope's morning mass was interrupted at one point by indigenous protesters demanding action on a long-standing issue. Protesters unveiled a banner that read, Rescind the Doctrine. Now that is a reference to the so-called Doctrine of Discovery, a 15th century edict that the church and governments used to justify their seizure of indigenous lands. The protesters were escorted out of the church where they continued their demonstration outside. The Prime Minister and Pontiff are said to have discussed that centuries-old edict in their meeting this week, and Canada's Catholic bishops confirm they are working with the Vatican on a plan to address that issue. Nithu Garcha has more on the doctrine's devastating impact and the growing calls to rescind it. Grand Chief Herb Norwegian says the way he and his people consume the land's resources is still dictated in large part by the doctrine of discovery. It was a tool that, uh, that they used uh, to take land from uh, unchristian uh, First Nation people. The philosophy was used to legitimize the colonization of indigenous peoples around the world, dehumanizing, exploiting and subjugating them of their most basic rights. Chief Norwegian says to this day it informs Canadian and American government policies. The United States government, the, the whole constitution, is basically based on, on the doctrine of discovery. The root of all evil is that doctrine of discovery and it has to be rescinded. Georgina Lightning and her daughter Crystal are raising awareness about the ongoing implications through a new documentary called The Doctrine of Recovery. We need a female driven story about this doctrine because you know, all that it has done to us. No more pretending. Our survival depends upon us caring for our life givers. The film screened in Edmonton Monday, the same day the Pope failed to address the doctrine in his apology. I hope that he acknowledges what has happened. Without, you know, meaningful acts to follow through, it'll just be all for naught. Elder Claudette Commanda says even after the Canadian government overtly rejected the doctrine by passing Bill C-15 last year, harmonizing the country's laws with the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, revoking the doctrine would help eliminate a layer of legal injustice. Then the courts will no longer use this against us whenever we move forward to to um, plead our, our inherent rights. And she says the Pope has the power to take action. 500 plus years and there was one Pope who made a doctrine of discovery. Well, let's fast forward to 500 plus years and while well, this Pope can make a change, he can revoke that doctrine of discovery. The rest of the Canadian population need to be behind us and they need to do everything they can to support First Nations on their road to recovery. Because he says the Pope telling a truthful narrative of the past can create a more hopeful narrative for the future. Nitu Garcha, Global News.